Let's now make our confession to the Lord. You may like to join in with the response, have mercy, when it appears on the screen. Let's pray. Lord God, when we look at you, when we look at how you loved us on the cross, how you love us now, we see only too clearly how we fall short, how we have failed to love as you love. And so, Lord, we come before you and confess all the ways that we have fallen short. For all the ways we have failed you, Lord, have mercy. For all the ways we will fail you again, Lord, have mercy. For all the ways we have failed our neighbour, Lord, have mercy. For all the ways we have failed our loved ones, Lord, have mercy. For all the ways we have failed your church, Lord, have mercy. And for all the ways we have failed ourselves, Lord, have mercy. We have no claim, Lord, on your goodness, no reason to expect forgiveness, for in so many ways we let you down. But we come, trusting in your unfailing love and asking, Lord, have mercy. Hear the words of Jesus for all who are truly sorry and seek to renew their lives. Your sins are forgiven. Go in peace, come and follow me. Amen. And let's be encouraged now with some words from Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 15. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Let's confess our faith now. If you believe, you may want to respond with the words I do to the following question. Do you believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit? And do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? I do. Let's affirm our faith again in song listening or singing to, I believe in God the Father. <laughs> 